this is a little difficult for me. I've, uh, you know, and I'm sure it's actually difficult for you to to listen to me say complimenting you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not good with that. It, it's it's difficult for both of us. Okay, so, <laughs> but uh, you know, you and I, as I mentioned to you, I think off mic, been friends for a long time. It's just been one way. So like I've it's two way now. Uh, it's two way. It's two way now. So like that's the beauty of uh, podcasting. You know, I mean, now just been fortunate enough. With this particular podcast, that I see it in people's eyes when they meet me, that they've been friends with me for 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 a few years now, and and we become fast friends actually after we start talking. Yeah, but it's one way in the vet in that first moment. Uh, you know, like uh, there's something about your especially hardcore history that uh, you know I do some crazy challenges and running and stuff. I remember in particular probably don't have time. One of my favorite episodes is the painful tainment one. Some people hate that episode. Because it's too real. Yeah, they can't listen to it. Yeah. It's my darkest one. We wanted to set a baseline. That's the baseline. <laughs> but I remember listening to that I, when I ran um, 22 miles for me, that was a long distance. Holy and cow, I, that's painful tainment right there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it just pulls you in. And it, there, there's something so powerful about this particular creation that's bigger than you actually that you've created it's kind of interesting i think anything that is successful like that like <laughs> elon stuff too it becomes bigger than you and that's that's what you're hoping for right yeah, yeah. absolutely didn't yeah. mean to interrupt you i apologize i guess one a question i have if, if you like look in the mirror but you also look at me what advice would you give to yourself and to me and to other podcasters, maybe to Joe Rogan, about this journey that we're on. I feel like it's something special. I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but it feels like podcasting is special. What advice, and I'm relatively new to it, what advice do you have for for people that are carrying this flame and traveling this journey? Well, I'm often asked for advice by new podcasters, people just starting out. And so I have sort of a, a tried and true <laughs> list of uh, do's and don'ts. and, and th But I don't have um, advice or suggestions for you or for Joe. Joe doesn't need anything from me. Joe's figured it out, right? I mean- He hasn't yet. He's still a confused kid, curious about the world. But, trying that's, but that's the genius of it. That's what makes it work. Right, that's what that's what Joe's brand is. Right, <laughs> um, I guess what I'm saying is, is by the time you reach the stage that you're at, or Joe's at, or they don't need it. They they have figured this out. The people that sometimes need help are brand new people trying to figure out what do I do with my first show and yeah. how do I talk into them. And 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 I have standard answers for that. But you found your niche. I mean, you don't need me to tell you what to do. As a matter of fact, I might ask you questions about how you do what you do. Right. <laughs> 